Hi, my name is Chris. I'm with the customer success team at Xano, and today I'm going to talk to you about the update variable function. As you know, variables are one of the most important concepts that you can master when learning to build in Xano. Now, let's say just as an example on your front end, you have users typing in their name. Users are going to type that in various different ways. Sometimes they'll use capital letters, sometimes they won't. Let's say you want to get that data, store it in a variable, and then update it to make sure that it's formatted in a standard way. I'm gonna show you a quick example of that just so you can get an idea of the things you can do with the update variable function. So just taking a look at my function stack here, this is just a simple get user by user ID endpoint. So it's taking in a user ID, it is getting that record from the users table and storing it in a variable called user data. And then what it's doing, it is creating a variable with the first and last name from the user data variable and storing it in a new variable called full name. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run this here. We're gonna specify a user ID of one and you can see we have a great result here. It says Luke Skywalker, it's doing everything we want it to do, but this name is not capitalized. And let's say we wanna fix that before we continue. There are a couple of different ways you can do that, but I'm gonna show you how to do this with the update variable function. I'm gonna go down here to my plus sign here or up in the corner, either one, and I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna click data manipulation and then I'm going to click update variable. So what Xano is asking me here is it's asking me what is my existing variable? What variable are we modifying? So if I click this drop down here, it's gonna show me all of my established variables so far. I'm gonna click full name and now it's asking me what do I want to update this variable to? Now, in this case, we're going to update it with the full name variable as well. Looks a little weird, but bear with me for a second. We're going to add a filter to this. This is a great example of what you can do with the update variable function. And I'm going to go to text and I'm going to say I want to capitalize this. And there's a ton of different filters that you can apply to update your variables along the way. This is just a very basic example. Uh, so let's hit update and save. And now if we did everything right and we run and debug this again with our user ID of one, you can see we have our name fully formatted exactly how we want it to be. So I hope this helps give you a super quick idea of some of the things you might be able to do with the update variable function. Make sure to check out the other videos in our function series to check out all of the cool stuff you can do with your data inside Xano. And we will see you in the next one.